All right, so um, here we are, step two. Uh, you should have a project that looks like this. We've got a green plane that's been tilted upwards a little bit. In this tutorial, we're just going to move the camera. Real simple. Um, you've got your camera object here, and on the number pad, you can hit zero, and that will look through the camera. All right, at any point, no matter what object is selected, you can hit the period key. Uh, actually, if you hit zero to look through the camera, you can then right click along the edge of the camera to highlight it like that. And then if you hit the period key on the number pad, it will center the camera in your view. So I'll do that a lot when I need to know where my active camera is. I'll hit zero, I'll select the edge, and then I'll hit the period on the number pad to zoom in on it. Now there are a couple of different ways we can kind of move this camera. I'm going to hit zero to look through it. Uh, you can use fly mode, which is, which is kind of cool. You can hit uh, shift F. And that puts you into fly mode. Now if I move the camera up and down, or I roll the mouse wheel forward, you can see the camera sort of flies through the scene. And that can be helpful when you're trying to position things. Uh, it gives you kind of that, uh, kind of like you're flying a plane. I kind of like it. So anyway, you can hit uh, Shift F. You can click to set your position. And, and that does work. All right. In this case, we created our plane so that the center of the plane is at coordinate 0, 0, 0. So realistically, we want our camera to be above the plane. So I'm going to hit, uh, I'm going to right click on the camera and I'm going to make sure that it's selected. I'm going to hit N as in November to bring open my properties panel. And because we know the center of our plane is at 0, 0, 0, and we want the camera to be centered on the plane, I'm going to come up here and you can see that we've got our location of the camera here. All right, and it, it's a, a pretty easy step to take the location of the camera and say, okay, I want the X coordinate of the camera to be zero, and I want the Y coordinate of the camera to also be zero, okay? And uh, I'm gonna hit N to close that, and if I hit period on the number pad, you can see that our camera is pretty much above our plane now. The trick is just to get it um, so that it's facing down. So I'm gonna hit zero, and I'm going to hit R once, and that's going to allow me to rotate around our center point. Now, if I hit, I'm going to right click to cancel that move. And if I hit R twice, it gives me a little more freedom of motion, and now it rotates around a point that's sort of behind us at the back of the camera. Okay, so I'm going to take this, and I'm going to position my camera as closely to the center as I can. And then I'm going to hit R once, and I'm going to spin it. All right. And our camera now should be facing, all right, straight down at the plane. All right. Now, if we want to move it backwards, uh, and you may want to increase your field of view a little bit, you could do it one of two ways. You could hit N, and you could simply increase this Z value. Okay, that would be uh, an obvious way to sort of move it. You could, um, I'm going to close that by hitting N again. You could hit period on the number pad. All right, and we can grab the blue arrow and we can just pull it straight up like that. That's another option. So I'm going to hit zero to look through the camera and hit period again. Um, you could use fly mode. I could hit shift F. I could roll the mouse wheel back until I get, you know, a nice big field of view like that. And if you have your camera set and it's looking down at the plane, you're ready for step three.